the biblical truth of our hymns. Today we're going to look at Were You There? Now the words are, it says in the book, Negro Spiritual. Uh, probably com composed by African American slaves in the 19th century. In 1940, it was included in the Episcopal Church hymnal, making it the first spiritual to be included in any major American hymnal. Now, one problem I do see, very limited problem, it's the same sentence over and over again, but it has spiritual teeth. And I know one problem we have with the modern uh, hymnals and the modern music of the church today is, you know, it's five words over and over and over. And this one's got me. Again, it's, it's the same words, but it says a lot. And it's not just a general subject. It's about the gospel. This hymn is about the gospel, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. You could sing this, or I could preach it and not sing, on the street. And it would be preaching the gospel to the lost people. It's American black slaves that got to know Jesus and his story. It's American black slaves that sung about Jesus. It's about American black slaves that feared. They trembled, trembled ten times in six verses. And when they come to the final verse, the shout from the grave that is empty tomb, glory, glory. So with a hymn like this in the history from the slavery of America, not all slaves were treated wrong. And we have a hymn here of slaves and how wrong it is. But they are joyfully singing and glorying the Lord Jesus Christ. you got people of all races and all colors and all sexes today in America who won't give a dime, a penny, for anything about the Lord Jesus Christ. Now we'll start off, were you there? Well, they weren't, and I wasn't. Hebrews 11.1, 1, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So the opening stanza of each of these six stanzas that I have here is by faith. Because we were not there. We're told the testimony. We have to believe by faith. When they crucified, again, crucified, not stoned, didn't die of natural causes. Jesus Christ was crucified, and that's Bible. Acts 2.36, Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assurity that God has made that same Jesus, whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. So remarkable. We are into one, two, three, four, five, six words of this hymn and we've got the first 30 parts of the gospel the gospel is jesus christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures this is a remarkable hymn were you there when they crucified my lord my lord a direct oni to jesus and jesus is theirs my lord capital l John 20, 28, and Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord, my God, you sure wouldn't get a Jehovah Witness to say that. You wouldn't get a Jehovah Witness to sing about Jesus like this. Were you there? And I said, it, it repeats itself. But the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel, and people won't listen. They don't care. And you need to have it twice. I've been preaching at the same spot four years on the street. They hear it. They don't want to hear it. They want to ignore it. They can't ignore it. And they hear the same thing week after week after week. Jesus saves. Only Jesus saves. Heaven and hell. 
Religion can't do it. Science can't do it. They may get a little bit of a difference of, of a kind of sermon outline, something like that, but it's all focused upon one thing. Jesus Christ saved. And it says tremble. Tremble. Sometimes it causes me to tremble. To tremble at the death of Jesus. Psalms 99.1 The Lord reigneth. Let the people tremble. He sits between the cherubims. Let the earth be moved. Man, they're not trembling at the slave owners. They're trembling at the Lord God, Jesus Christ. A proper. The fear of the Lord to begin the wisdom. The fear of the Lord. They feared God. And then stanza number two, they nailed him to a tree. That's Calvary. That's not Muhammad, that's not Mary, that's not Joseph Smith, it's the Lord Jesus Christ. 20, 25, the other disciples therefore said unto him, we have seen the Lord, but he said unto them, except I see, the, see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger in the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. Acts 10.39, and we are witnesses of all these things which he did, both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem, whom they slew and hanged on a tree. Notice the scripture. Notice the scripture. The third stanza, they pierced in the side. John 19.34, but one of the soldiers with a spear, pierced his side. Forthwith came there out blood and water. I want to say something about this spiritual song of the slavery that happened in America, of African Americans. They got the gospel of Jesus Christ. They got the life and death of Jesus Christ. And they glorified the life and death of Jesus Christ. And they worshiped the death and burial of Jesus Christ. They knew exactly what happened to Jesus Christ. They had to have been brought to the gospel. They had to have been brought forth into the white man's church to learn about the Jewish Savior. What are you going to do? Let's read on. More scripture. Stands of four. The sun refused to shine. Calvary again. Mark 15, 33. Look at the scriptures. And when the sixth hour was come, there was darkness over the whole land unto the ninth hour. These slaves in America was given the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to its fulfillment. To its full fullness. Of everything that happened upon the upon Jesus Christ upon Mount Calvary, and they sung about it, and they worshiped God. Verse uh, the stanza five, when they laid him in the tomb. We looked at the death according to the scriptures, and now we're looking at the burial. In two Matthew twenty seven sixty, and laid it in his own new tomb which he had hewed out a rock, and he rolled a great stone to the door of the sepulcher and departed. And Mark 6, 29, when the disciples heard it, they came and took up the corpse and laid it in the tomb. We have the death, we have the burial, and stands at number six when he arose from the grave. We have the resurrection. Acts 2, 31, he seen this before, spank of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell. Neither his flesh did see corruption. Acts 4.33 And when the great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. 1 Peter 1.3 Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. I'm going to say this one's okay, repeat. I wouldn't go with this modern nonsense that's in the modern church. Contemporary. This is far from contemporary music. Were you there? It's almost like when they gather around and they, this hymn was sung and, and, and written down, it's guaranteed that there are other people who are not listening. we got to say it again. We got to lift up. It's a verily, verily, it's important. When Jesus said verily, he said verily again, because this is important. 
And there are things in the gospel repeated twice, three times, four times. Not all things in the gospel. Not all things in the Bible is, is recorded twice. And yet the things that are, are very important. We don't have the exact date of the, of the, of the Lord Jesus Christ's birth. But we have recorded all four gospels. The death, the burial, and the resurrection. We have multiple places the Bible describes that tabernacle. So when it comes down to this him, what do we do? We do the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 11. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, which I preach unto you, which is which also ye have received. I believe the writers of this received that gospel. Wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved. They said, My Lord, capital L. If you keep in memory what I preach on you, unless you have believed in vain. For I deliver unto you first of all that which I also received. Same thing that, God, that Paul received. Same thing that the Corinthian church received. Some of these uh, the, the, the slaves that were in America, I believe they received. How that Christ died for our sins, according to Scripture. We see the death. And he was buried. We see the, the burial. And he arose again the third day, according to scriptures. We see that. That he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve. He was seen of Peter, then the twelve. And after that, he was seen above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present. But some are fallen asleep, some have died. After that, he was seen of James, then of all the apostles. So Paul records that. The number 500 over 500 people have seen the resurrection of Jesus Christ early ages of AD and he said that this hymn was written approximately the 19th century many many centuries later the testimony of the death burial and resurrection has come forth of this and we don't even know who the person wrote it we don't even know who the first person that sung it. We don't know the gathering of the slaves that would praise our Lord Jesus Christ. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you something I know. But the ones that would sing this song from their heart and with their mouth confess the Lord Jesus Christ, God knows them. And their names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. One day, though unknown, we will meet those that are saved, the ones that are saved, that this hymn, this melody given to the Lord Jesus Christ. And though we don't see the name Jesus, it clearly states the life of Jesus. And again, that's that's one of the things that's missing in hymns, the name Jesus. That the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. There is no other name given amongst men under this in the heavens whereby we must be saved acts 4 12. this hymn is a lot better than the ones we've done this hymn is a lot better than some of the carols that we've done i i put this in my hymnal i sing this i i would be able to preach these words without singing and it would get to the point to the lost man only jesus christ only the gospel and for the saved man to remind him of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. This is a great one.